project of the day we're actually gonna be creating a butterfly and this butterfly is gonna be created with the chain i thought it would be a lot easier but it, it wasn't that easy but it still came out pretty good so you guys find ways to improvise just like i did so i hope you guys had fun with this and with the last ones and i can't wait to see you guys on friday welcome back boys and girls for this project, we're actually going to need a paper. We're going to need four different colors of paint. I actually bought these little containers at Dollar Tree, and this probably will be more convenient for you because we're going to actually be doing drops of paint onto this. So these are actually a dollar for a pack of two at Dollar Tree. And what I'm going to need, too, is I'm going to need one of these chains, the little ball chains. I got this actually for my light, for my fan, for my ceiling fan. But I actually cleaned it up and I put it back up and it works perfect. But if you do use this from your ceiling fan or anything like that, please make sure that you talk to your parent about it. But if not, you can find this in dog tags. I mean, you can find this in many things and you could actually find them at the stores too. Um, we're also going to need napkins. We're going to need one of these little cool tools that we're gonna basically scoop up some paint, ex uh, some extra paint that you're gonna have left behind on your picture. And we're also, I'm actually gonna also use different colors of paint to do flowers too as well. So I'm gonna be using a pink and this nice little bluish color, the green and the yellow. All of this is for the flower. So what we're going to start off doing this, we're going to start putting our colors in so we can actually start moving. What we're going to do is with this chain, once you put those all your colors in, you're basically going to be putting your chain in the middle. And then you're going to try to just line it up right there in that first wing. And once you get that done, we're basically going to pull the string down just like this to create that wing. So it's going to be a little bit complicated at first. Please don't give up on me. It took me a minute to get it. And, and I still don't have it perfectly. But we're going to work through this together. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna. I'm going to start off with my base. Um, one of my first colors. And I'm going to start off with purple. And what I'm going to do is. Uh, oh, I actually did highlight my paper i kind of put the dots where i wanted the form of the butterfly so if you want to do that before you get started that'll be a great idea to do <clears throat> that way you don't mess up so let's go ahead and put that on and as you see i'm just putting out that i mean enough so you could actually spread this out so you want to make sure that you have enough paint but not too much. So don't overdo it either. And you're gonna go all the way around doing the same thing. So go ahead and continue to finish this up all the way till you get to your last dot. So you see now in the be in betweeners, I'm gonna put a different color. So I'm probably gonna go with 
orange. And so in the betweeners, we're gonna put the orange. And we're gonna continue to do this all the way through. So with the next color, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go in between our picture, our little circles, you see those little gaps? We're gonna put in between those and we're gonna continue to do that with all the other colors. So let's go ahead and finish this off. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually place this in the middle. And right on that first wing, we're going to put that down. Once you have put that down, we're going to start moving it in so we could create our little wonderful masterpiece. And then we're going to go in. As you see, sometimes... It gives you a headache, like I said. I'm not perfect at it yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in again. I'm going to try to get that paint all spread it out. So if I can't get in, I'm just going to go ahead and use this my little chain and I'm going to try to do it spread it out and now I'm gonna go ahead and do that to the opposite side as well might be able to fill it in with the other one so we're just gonna go ahead and move to the next one and do the same thing And with my little tool, I'm just gonna go ahead and spread this out. Sometimes I think I didn't put enough paint. So what you would do next is you would actually make sure you put enough paint. I still managed to work with it because I had all this palette tools and all this other cool gadgets. So I was able to fill it in, as you see. And it's still got all those little bright colors because I'm doing it lightly with just a little soft touch. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to move to the next one, to the bottom wings. <clears throat> Hopefully we got enough paint on this one. So I am going to go ahead and move to the next step where we're going to do the same exact thing, just with the opposite side. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this side. I'm going to put it right there, and we're going to go ahead, and we're going to move all the extra stuff up now.
And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. So we're basically gonna be going up. Um, let me fix my chain. And we're basically, like I said, we're gonna be going up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place it right there and we're gonna go ahead oop, and start moving this up. And with the, my paint thingies, I am going to go ahead and I'm going to start running all this lightly in. Don't worry about the excess, the extra on the side or nothing like that. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint it over with some white paint. Gently do this so you can see all those bright colors. Cause it takes practice it takes pra practice to actually do this chain one i thought it would be easier but it's a lot more difficult than what i thought it would but i was able to still work through it with my little tools and still give it that nice little vibrant touch so go ahead and just have fun with it bring out those nice little colors if you need to highlight anything in the middle go ahead by all means As you see, I'm just trying to highlight a little bit of it, a little bit of touch, so we can bring out all those little bright colors underneath it. And there you guys have it. This is amazing the way it actually comes out. If you are able to master this technique, it will look so much more amazing. I'm going to continue to practice. And once I have um, mastered it, I'll probably post another video with it. But these came out pretty cool regardless. So as you see, I'm taking on some of the darker colors. So we can see some of those brighter colors underneath it. And I think this is amazing. So what I'm going to actually do now is I'm going to let it dry for a little bit. And once it's dry, I'm going to go ahead and paint over these extra places that that paint should not be. And then we go ahead and move on to our flower. So on these darker parts, I might highlight and put an extra design on the butterfly. But this is pretty cool. I think the only I think the problem really was that we I didn't use enough paint, so try to put bigger drops of paint and see if that works for you. for the butterfly so I'm probably gonna do it a different uh, a different color just still a bright color just to bring out more uh, more colors into this picture and then we're gonna start by creating flowers around it too so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start I'm gonna use maybe a green for this antenna this will be creative just to bring out some more colors, like I said. So, here we have it.
I'm just going to hide like, like a little body with this too. So now that that's done, we're going to go ahead and this is actually the project already finished. This is the butterfly already done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some flowers to the background and then we're going to be done with this project. So let's go ahead and get creative and create a background for this and let's see what you come up with. still need practice you might need practice too with the chain because it's pretty difficult to do the chain a lot of people made it look easy but it really is not but i think it still came out cool and there's a way to actually release some stress too i find this as a good activity for art therapy so just take your time don't rush through it and just create something amazing like this so this will help you relax and everything and decrease all that stress levels that you got so please just continue to do all these projects i bet you you guys are gonna feel better whether it's painting whether it's my oil pastel whether it's craft all these cool projects are great ways to release stress so please continue to be creative and i can't wait to see you guys next week so until then and make sure that you guys are cleaning up after yourself and you're washing your hands and sanitizing so see you next time